Open the main page of your PagerDuty account. Click on Configuration and select Services. Under Service Directory, add a new service by clicking on New Service. Choose a name for your new service and add the optional description. Under Integration Settings, click on Integration Type and enter CoreLogix. Choose an integration name of your liking. Customize Incident Settings, Incident Behavior, and Alert Grouping per your needs. And save the service by clicking on Add Service. Your new service is set up and ready to use. Grab the integration key under Integrations and head on to your CoreLogix account. In the CoreLogix dashboard, click on the top right blue icon and go to the Settings tab. Head to the webhooks and add a new integration by clicking on the blue plus button. Choose PagerDuty as the type of your integration. Choose an alias for your integration and paste the integration key you just copied from your PagerDuty account. And go ahead and test your configuration. If the test is successful, save the new integration. Back in PagerDuty, a new test incident should appear in the service activity. Refresh your tab if you don't see it. The incident can be manually acknowledged and resolved through this screen. Let's go back to your CoreLogix account and define a new alert. Click on the Alerts tab. Create a new alert. Set the alert name and optionally a description. Select the alert severity. Apply the right query filters. Change the conditions per your needs. Alert when, occurrences, time window, and group by. Enable Notify When Resolved to automatically resolve the PagerDuty incident when conditions return to normal. And finally, in the Recipients tab, select your new PagerDuty integration from the Webhook Recipients dropdown. Check that the alert definition is correct. And click Create Alert to Save. Your new alert is now set up and is constantly being tracked for its conditions. And you can now continue your logging workflows, knowing CoreLogix and PagerDuty have your back whenever something goes wrong.